Okay, so today we're on episode 9, I'm pretty sure it is, of the Wolves playthrough. Um, we're going to be playing against Brighton at home and then Arsenal at home, both being in the Premier League. In the previous video we beat Bournemouth 2-0 and Southampton 5-2 in the Prem. We are currently second in the league, which is pretty nuts. Um, but we are 11 points behind Man City, although we do have a game in hand. Um, but yeah, they are by far the uh, best team in the league, clearly. Um, but yeah, let's get into this game against Brighton. Um, so we didn't make any changes to the start lineup. I'm pretty sure. I don't think anybody got injured. Um, I will check just before we start. <clears throat> so yeah, we've got Jimenez, Sheldrop, Guedes, Neves, Nunez, Moutinho, Ryan Ignore, um, Kilman, Collins, Johnny and Jose Sarpa. So yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody got injured since the uh, the last episode. And hopefully we can beat Brian. We are at home. And um, they're bottom of the league in this day, which is kind of nuts. Um, just before this video started, I did um, decide to take a look at their team quickly. And um, I saw that Moises Caicedo has a um, £37 million relegation release clause. <coughs> which, if they do end up going down... I honestly might uh, activate that because uh, Xiao Moutinho is 36 years old so we will need a replacement and Kaiseido is pretty nuts has an extremely high potential ability so that could be a pretty good replacement that was a good start to the game had a really good opportunity there for a shield drop but yeah I think um, Brian have a few players we could look at for sure it's just uh, it all depends how much money we end up getting at the end of the season from my ignoring. <clears throat> That's a good ball over the top from Nunes. That's a really good goal. I'm really happy with that. Really good ball over the top from Nunes and a good finish from Guedes. how good um, Trossard in, is in this game. I might take a look at him. I'm not sure if he's a relegation release cause either, but uh, I tend to like going just for wonder kids and developing them rather than having um, kind of experienced players already that are like really well known. I think it's uh, definitely more fun for sure. Join a lot of possession at the moment. Passing it around the back. I would preferably be in the final third for sure. That's good from. Oh, that was unlucky. Adrian goes past in there. I might even be able to get Lamptey as well. I assume he, he should be good. Oh, that was unlucky from Nevers. But yeah, I assume. I'm going to take a, a look at Lamptey quickly in a minute. See if he has a relegation release clause as well. Kind of nuts that Brighton are this this like that. They're literally bombed the league with five points in like 18 games, I think, or at least a lot of games for sure. I'm pretty sure we're halfway through the season or close to. <clears throat> they have Levi Cobble starting as well, which is pretty cool. I wonder what his potential is in this game. I'm pretty sure. Um, in one of the saves, I saw he becomes like a leading Premier League player, but it doesn't become like world class, but he becomes like pretty, definitely very reliable, um, competent player for sure. Good Premier League player. That was. Oh my god, we're so lucky. That was really nice play from them. Can't do one more. Uh, I don't 
look at Lanty quickly. Contract details. Okay, it's a relegation release scores of 40 million. So obviously 22. Maybe I'll take a look in, but I don't think I'll really have crazy money for uh, like two massive signings like that. That's 70 million for Caicedo and Lamptey. Oh, that's unlucky. Did I defenders just fall asleep? Okay, we got lucky again there. Still can't demand more. But yeah, we're not. Uh, defensively, we've been terrible so far. Life. Um, just watched Croatia end up beating Japan in on uh, penalties. I kind of wanted Japan to win just because they're really entertaining to watch. So far, they've beaten like Germany and Spain. They were one 0 up against Croatia. Yeah, I just find them really entertaining to watch as well. They work really hard. Uh, their patterns of play and like always end up um, turning alive or like coming alive for like 15 minutes and just have like random spurts of really high intensity um, action. And um, I guess we're always the underdog, right? Which is, uh, I always like betting on the underdog, or like prefer that underdogs win. Definitely think it makes it more entertaining. And I guess I'm a uh, neutral in that, um, in these kind of games as well. I think one of the commentators was saying like, um, you'd always prefer it just to go to penalties rather than see extra time. Like maybe from a neutral's point of view, but I guess if you're one of the actual, that was a really nice goal um, from. Uh, from him there, sorry. I did realise he was even offside. But um, from a from being a uh, Japanese fan or a Croatian fan, I'd presume that you kind of want extra time to go on longer for the opportunity of um, possibly just scoring that goal that stops it from going to penalties because penalties is literally just like a complete 50-50. I think it's so random if you win or not. Whereas uh, I'd definitely rather just... Uh, learn extra time so I thought it was a weird statement from the commentator to say that like everybody would rather just go straight to penalties I don't really I don't think that's true but like maybe from a neutral standpoint it's more dramatic and then in like two hours time we've got um, Brazil against South Korea which I mean I guess everybody expects Brazil to win but I don't think they've been overly great at the World Cup so far. I think they lost to Cameroon. They ended up scoring like a world-class goal against Serbia, which is the best goal of the tournament, I think, which was uh, Richarlison's practically overhead kick. Oh, it wasn't really an overhead kick, but it was like over the shoulder, like volley, I guess. <clears throat> but it, that was like an insane goal that they scored, but I don't think they've been that impressive uh, to call them tournament favourites or the amount of hype that's around them. The same for Argentina as well. I think Argentina have been like I mean, they lost to Saudi Arabia in the first game. I don't think they've looked that impressive. Poland weren't good at all against them. But, um, yeah, I don't think the Brazil, uh, the Brazilians are anywhere near as good as they were when I was growing up. Or just, like, past teams, past generations. I don't think they're even close to being as good. So, uh, I, I mean, I could see South Korea beating them for sure, but I I think I mean, <coughs> it's pretty unlikely, um, definitely. But I prefer South Korea to win. Okay, we just scored, like, what the f... Note from Brian just closed Guedes down. That was interesting. He just ran from the halfway line through their entire team and scored. Yeah, okay, Brian are just going down, I guess, because, I mean, if you're conceding a goal like that. But, yeah, we're freeing him up at half-time. Pretty nuts. I'm pretty sure that Sapanara guy used to play for Fiorentina. I think I've had him in a previous football manager. But, 
yeah, so we are 3 0 up at half time against um, Brighton. Which is kind of insane. Their team doesn't look uh, all too different, but yeah, they're definitely not. <coughs> they're not playing great at all. I've still got a cough, man. I've had a cough for like a week and a half, two weeks. But it's not COVID, but um, I guess it's just winter. Been bunged up as well. But I mean, it's definitely worse things that you could uh, get. It's not like it's not bad at all. It doesn't affect me in any way. But it's just a bit annoying when trying to make these kind of videos. My throat's just like hanging on for dear life for like 20 minutes. That was a poor ball from Johnny. I mean, if we end up getting Wolves top four in our first season, I've I've literally only made one change to the starting lineup. Maybe I've changed the formation um, from where it is in real life to just being a four at the back um, in this game, where I think they've probably been playing a five at the back in real life. Um, from what I've seen of them in previous years, and the fact that I, I heard a load of um, Wolves fans complaining about um, the fact that Bruno Large did try and. Um, make them play a four at the back in pre-season but pretty sure they like, just can get it to work so it's just resorted back to going to a back five and then obviously end up getting sacked but um, I'm not sure what they've been doing um, formation wise since he's been sacked if they have been set up differently but I mean it doesn't help that you've um, they got rid of uh, Sias, Cody and changes they got rid of Cody Sias and like somebody else in the first year who was it Cody Sias and uh, oh, what's his name Woody Bolly no not Woody Bolly is his name Woody Bolly I can't remember what his name is the centre back the French centre back Woody Bolly is a striker that used to play for Swansea uh, is it I think it's Woody Bolly right but um is there any youngsters I might honestly sub on Emery Tesco is there anybody else I could sub on what do you snooze? Is this guy or was this guy sent me for attack? Like, what is happening to this shit, man? What's this guy playing? Advanced Playmakers. Oh, I just love this bug. He's there. And I'll do that as well. But yeah, it doesn't help that Wars got rid of all three of their centre backs in one year and they're wondering why they can't, like, play a back ball. I'm pretty sure Bruno Lars has said that all those um, centre backs weren't good enough technically to play in the back ball. But it's like Connor Cody's gone to Everton playing the back ball. I'm pretty sure he's doing quite fine. Did we just get penalty, which happened. But um, yeah, it's a bit mad. I think uh, Sias has gone to like Besiktas, I think. So they're not exactly a terrible team. I'm pretty sure they've been in the um, Champions League a few times, Europa League. So I think he's definitely a fine player, same with um, Connor Cody. Okay, bro, him and just run it off the pitch. Guess make a few more subs. I can make five this game, which is nice. Off. They've got so many like players I've never really heard of. I don't think Pascal Grob was playing. Uh, or starting, sorry. Didn't notice him. But yeah, so the um, remaining fixtures in the World Cup, or the, the ones that have been decided so far, um, you've got Netherlands who beat the US 3-1 I'm pretty sure um, which is pretty dominant showing from the Netherlands to be fair um, they end up um, gonna play Argentina next which should be a, a pretty good game to be honest I don't really know who I have as favourites I think um, both teams are extremely good when they when they turn up right I think that's like every team in the tournament it's like you don't really know what um, team's gonna turn up on the day or how they're gonna turn up on the day could be really good or really poor. It's like England against Iran, we played really well, and then England against the US, we were terrible. And uh, since then, we've been pretty good. But, um, 
I don't really know who's going to win that game. Based off current form, you'd probably say uh, the Netherlands, but I don't think Argentina are really that that impressive to me. So I have more faith in the Netherlands, who I don't even actually think are that crazy either. Um, the next game is going to be England against France. Uh, I mean, France have to be favourites, I'm pretty sure, but I mean, I'm quite confident. If we turn up how we did against Senegal and uh, against Iran, then I'm pretty sure like, we could beat them for sure. I think Bellingham's been playing insane. Harry Kane got man the match last night against um, Senegal. But I mean, he played extremely well. But um, I would have personally given it to Jude Bellingham for sure. I think he was really insane in the first half. The best player on the pitch, bum. Uh, I mean, Harry Kane was good, so I wouldn't say by a mile, but he was definitely like, the best player in the midfield by a mile for sure. But yeah, so we play France. Uh, Spain are playing Morocco tomorrow. I play Portugal are playing Switzerland tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if Switzerland beat them, to be honest. They're, they're a really decent team. They always kind of have been since I've been growing up. Pretty sure they beat Spain in one of the previous World Cups. Um, Spain ended up going on to win. But, um, the team's pretty good. Imbolo, Xhaka, Dennis Zakaria. They've got a lot of decent players for sure. But yeah, Portugal's team is really nice though, to be fair. Um, definitely one of the favourites for the tournament. But yeah, I'd prefer it if Switzerland won. Um, then got Spain against Morocco. I haven't actually really watched many of Morocco's games or paid too much attention to them, but I'm pretty sure that, I mean, they topped their group, which is pretty nuts. Like, Belgium ended up going home, and they were um, pretty poor. And Lukaku ended up like, punching the, uh, like, the glass that where um, all of the players end up sitting, which quite, I don't know, it's quite funny to see him angry, but at the same time, when there was a person next to the glass, it's like, you made the glass land on him, so it's just a bit disrespectful, a bit stupid. But yeah, so we got a 3-0 win against Brighton, that was pretty easy, to be honest. Um, the next game is against Arsenal, I am going to sim to the next game, otherwise it will take forever to, uh, why but my mouse is feeling like really laggy okay Collins is suspended which means that Mosquero is going to play do we have a centre back down here no that's the middle but um yeah so our next game is going to be against Arsenal and I'm going to sim to that game now and I'll get back to you when I am um going to start that game Okay, so we are back for the second game against um, Arsenal at home. Uh, nobody got injured um, during training whilst we uh, skipped or like sim to the next game. The only thing that's happened is that Collins is suspended for this game, so that we have put uh, Mosquera instead of him. But everybody else is completely fine. Are you sure? Yeah, everybody's fine. Okay, so let's get into the game. Pretty sure in this save, um, the Brighton boss is nearly like close to being sacked, and so is the Brentford boss as well, um, Frank. And Ruben Neves end up getting like Player of the Month for the Premier League, which would be nuts. Ruben Neves was second. Um, yeah, Raul Jimenez won it, and like Jack Grealish was third. I think our centre back Collins nearly won uh, like Young Player of the Month. Pretty sure he was second to Aston Villa's like young striker, I can't remember his name. Oh, that was a good save. We're kinda getting <laughs> dominated at the start of this game. It's not a good start. But yeah, uh Arsenal are all over us at the moment, for sure. Saka Stein, Gabriel, Tomiyasu, Xhaka, Partey. Sinchenko at left back. Definitely a, um, their strongest team for sure. I don't 
don't even have any injuries at all or suspensions or anything. Just um, the four Arsenal team. I'm pretty sure um, they're like eighth in the league, or they were eighth in the league when I last looked. In this, in this save anyway. Oh my God, Jimenez missed that. That wasn't great. Okay, shoulder up, beats the man. I'm not sure what he's doing. Okay, that was really unlucky. He ended up beating his man. Shot just wasn't great at all though. I think they have Holden starting actually. I think I just saw him instead of uh, Ben White. <clears throat> or Saliba. Pretty sure that was Holden. Okay, we're getting a uh, foothold into the game now. Which is good. Should wrap up another shot that got blocked. Guedes played it to Johnny. Pretty poor cross. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a good attempted pass, but um, Ramsdale was quickly out to it. Johnny Beach's man on the left wing. Okay, what? And plays all the way back to the centre back. I've never seen that before. Uh, okay, somehow we just whipped it back in. What just happened, man? I think uh, Guedes was offside, yeah. That was a very strange pattern of play, for sure. But, I mean, it worked. Kind of, if uh, Guedes wasn't offside. Johnny gets the ball back, plays it to Guedes. If Ramsdale comes and collects it. Whenever they get the ball, they look pretty dangerous. Which I don't like, which I don't look that great defensively. Nevers didn't run to the ball. They haven't got a high XG though, but every time they get the ball um, into the final third, they seem to like have a lot of space to be honest. They're just not picking the right passes for sure. They're not pressing though at all, which is kind of weird. Because in real life we do. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, that's one new up. That was good. Uh, Xhaka made a mistake. Somebody ended up blocking his clearance and uh, fell to Jimenez and Jimenez put away first time, which is really good. Jimenez has actually been like really solid for us, which I didn't expect. I didn't think he'd score this many goals. Yeah, Chaka tries to clear it and he's right foot, somebody blocks it and Jimenez locks it away with his left foot. Now, one up against Arsenal at home, which is really nice. That was good from show drop, good, good defending, good covering. <laughs> I think we're like 18 points behind um, Man City at the top of the league, which is so insane. I think it was that. It's either 8 points or 18. If it's 18, then like, the league's already over. It's kind of nuts, because I feel like we're doing really well, and we're like 18 points off the top. But I guess like, loads of other teams are struggling. I think we lost against like Tottenham Man United. <clears throat> Other than that, I'm pretty sure we've done like quite well. Okay, so we're only eight points off the top of the league. Yeah, it's not 18. I was gonna say like that's insane. But yeah. Again, hit the crossbar. I was hoping he was gonna bounce down so he would get the um, kind of like rebound. 
That was offside, okay. How do we do that then? But yeah, we've limited Arsenal um, in the first half. They really um, had that many chances. Early on, they had a quick like flurry in the first five minutes where I thought we were just going to end up getting bad because like, we couldn't get the ball. But um, after that, we just settled down and grown into the game for sure, being the better team. Showed up, just scored. Nice. I wasn't sure if that was going in or not. But yeah, that's 2 0 just for half time. Showed up, scores again. It's been really good for us. It's a nice goal. Good ball from um, Aid Nori. So, good finish at the near post from Showdrop as well. Ramsdale could be in his near post. I think that's going to be half time, hopefully. Yep. 2 0 half time against Arsenal, which is really nice. I'm kind of like, I don't know, I didn't expect this save to go this well because I haven't really um, brought in loads of players that I want yet. Like, obviously, I've um, improved the squad or I've uh, replaced a lot of members in the squad by bringing in um, a lot of youngsters, but they're all just like off the bench or they play in the cup, right? The only first team addition I've made is Sheldrop, who's left wing. So I'm kind of surprised we're doing as well as we are. Because Gilman's supposed to be like very average, but he's actually been playing like really well for us. Um, he's actually been better than Collins, who's supposed to become extremely good. So it's kind of weird. Like Guedes has been better than I expected. Raul Jimenez has been way better than I expected. Um, Neves has been really good. Shel Moutinho has been quite good. Um, Nunes has been pretty decent. Uh, both our wingbacks have been really good. Jose Sarr has been excellent as well. Pretty big um, penalty saves he's made in a few games. A lot of good saves as well. Oh, that was close. That was nearly a good, really, <laughs> like a really good free ball. That was pretty close. Nunes got pretty lucky there. Okay, Neves boots one over the bar. It's not lucky. Might make a couple of substitutions soon. I'm not really sure who to bring off, right? Because Neves and Nunes having bad games, but Shamitino's on a yellow card. Both our fullbacks are on yellow cards as well. Okay, your shoulder just went down so easy there. I take a lesson from Deli Ali or Eden Hazard, I think. Shoulder up could have first time that into the box, and he's offside anyway, so never mind. That was a really good ball from Guedes. Uh, he missed? Okay, man. I mean, that could have been like, com that, that would have been game over if he scored right there. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make some subs now. Do I just do the entire midfield? Shamantino is on the yellow as well. Johnny is playing quite poorly. Do that, I reckon. Can I actually do that? Okay, I can. I thought maybe I'd only have three subs allowed this game, but um, <laughs> it seems I can make more, which is nice. We do have a really young midfield coming on now, which is quite risky, but I mean, Nevers and Nunes weren't playing well, and Joe Moutinho was in a yellow card, so. But 
yeah, it's pretty risky to do this for sure. If it was free now, I definitely would be a lot more comfortable. Um, maybe? No, okay, never mind. I don't even know where that went. <laughs> terrible shot. Smith Rose, come on now for them. That was a good tackle from Esgo. It's been pretty good for us so far whenever he's come on. This is a nice play, Guedes is in behind, and forgot how to shoot. Unlucky. Uh, shots so far this second half have been pretty poor, keep on like, just boating them over the bar from a mile away. Not even getting close. Thankfully, um, Arsenal haven't been great this second half either. Well, so far. That was a good interception from Esco, again. Honestly, maybe, do I just, instead of buying Moises Caicedo next season, do I just keep Esigo, start him, and then buy like a backup for him? It's just, he's not really, he's not ready yet, kind of, I'm not really sure, like, whereas Moises Caicedo becomes like one of the best DMs in the world in, um, in Football Manager in this, uh, in this year's game. So, I think it's just like a guarantee. But Esigo does develop extremely well, like he'll become a leading Premier League player, but... Moises Caicedo is one that is, like, will be one of the best players in this position in the game. Sniffro boots one over the bar now. This second half has been, like, really poor from both teams. Um, I might make a sub. You know what I might do? Okay, well, I might honestly do that. Just give him some minutes. And... Is it anybody else? I can bring him. That's five subs, right? Yeah, that's five. And then Emery Tesco just like kind of passed it back to him with a terrible touch. And uh, Guedes bit over the bar with a deflection. But, I mean, this game looks all but over, hopefully. Oh, that was a good header from Esco. He's been really good since he came on. I don't know how he has a 6.8 because he's made like multiple interceptions, um, some good forward passes as well. And I mean, he just won a header from a corner. Just good effort and goal. That was a good ball to um, Guedes. Tesco, with a decent effort, ends up winning the corner. That was a good idea from Mascara. Showed up, keeps it in. Goes straight to Kilman. I thought he was going to overhead kick. I haven't actually like seen anybody try overhead kick in this game. Maybe they haven't been able to like create that animation or whatever. But like, I've, I don't think I've ever seen that personally in Football Manager in my in my saves. I guess maybe you have to have a, a really high flair to even attempt it. But I'm not not actually sure. I haven't personally uh, seen it. That was good from Rafael Louis B. His man. Good from nice. I'm mean, playing really well since we subbed them on. I don't really know how their like scores are so low when they're doing stuff like that. Like, it's really nice um, pattern of play. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully we can keep a 2-0 lead. It's good pressing from Gwede, that's really good work. Samedo clears it. Burgle wins a header. <laughs> that's good, it's just not winning headers up top, that's quite funny. Just getting uh, out jumped by like either Holden or Gabriel there, didn't see who that was. But yeah, Arsenal have been really poor in this game, we've got an XG of like 0.34 I think it was. Um, when I just saw a second ago, we've got an XG of like 2.4. We've donated him, which I didn't really expect, I don't know. But yeah, we're playing really well. That's a good ball from Esago again. Guedes keeps the ball well. Ah, oh, it's unlucky. This guy's been really good since he came on though. This person that made the initial pass. Right, that's full time, a 2-0 win. A pretty comfortable win against Arsenal as well. Like, we didn't really have to do anything. Um, we had a really good XG, 2.52. 18 shots, 5 on target, to their 7, seven shots, 3 on target, then XG of 0 0.34 as well. Um, all round pretty poor performance, Gabriel Jesus has a 6.1 rating, Zinchenko 6.1, Saka 6.4, they were pretty poor. Um, is there a way I can check where they are in the league? No. Okay, eighth, yeah they're 8th in the league like I said earlier, but um, yeah that was pretty poor from them to be honest. I think we now meant we should be second in the league, I'm pretty sure we are. Um, yep, we are still second in the league. We have a worse goal difference than Liverpool. Same goal difference as Man United. Um, we have Brian at the bottom of the league with 8 points in 15 games, which is insane. But yeah, so that is the two games for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe. I make a lot of playthrough videos. I make a lot of Wonder Kid videos. I will be making like hidden gem videos, like more of them, uh, more tactical, in-depth breakdown videos, um, tips and trick guides, that kind of thing. But yeah, um, thank you for watching, um, and that is the end of today's video.